I'm gonna put it on my truck, I don't feel the Yeah, but then it's it. carrying it too low. You, it's gonna make you wanna dip low. Okay. When you carry it higher, you're able to sit up underneath. Yo, yo, your shredded brother from another mother. And you guys are going to absolutely hate today's video. Five forgotten leg exercises with the godfather of bodybuilding, Charles Glass. And I have a bone to pick with you guys. Every single time that I upload a leg video, you guys click on it a lot less than if I do a chest video, an abs video, a biceps video. But guess what? The most important muscle group in your entire body, the muscle group that you guys should be having the most training volume on, is your legs. So guys, start watching my leg day videos more because we're gonna have a hell of a lot more of them coming your way. And before we get into the first exercise, comment down below how many sets that you did of squats last week. And one person who comments is going to win Superhuman Pre-Workout and Superhuman Protein. Let's get into the first exercise. Bodybuilder, that bone is big. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like when I put it on my truck, I don't feel the Yeah, but then it's carrying it too low. You it's gonna make you want to dip forward. Okay. When you carry it higher, you're able to sit up on your knees. Drive, drive it up, that drive. Yes. Watch your knees now, let it go in. So the first forgotten leg exercise is the high bar heel elevated squat. Now, I don't usually do a heel elevated squat, but if you are having trouble getting at least to 90 degrees or slightly lower than 90 degrees on the barbell squat, I definitely recommend that you guys try the heel elevated high bar squat. So place that barbell right on top of those traps as high as possible without it going right on that shoulder bone up here. And you wanna elevate your heels by about one to two inches. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna focus on keeping your knees out. You're gonna drop your butt a little bit lower than 90 degrees. You're gonna keep your chest up. You're gonna point those elbows down to the ground. And I want you guys to go heavy on this exercise. So squats is going to be an incredible mass builder, but you're about to see there is a lot more leg exercises that you guys are probably forgetting that are gonna help you guys add some quick mass to your legs. One variation that I wanna talk about is the deep tension squat. Now, a few times, I've done the deep tension squat with Charles. I've added this to almost all of my squat workouts. We're at the very end of my squat workout after I do my four to five heavy working sets. What I do is I do tension squats where I drop the weight to about half or even 25 to 30% of the weight I'll do on my heavy working sets. And I'll drop my butt down as low as I can and I won't come all the way up. So it's a deep tension squat. I go for 12 to 15 reps and you guys will blow up your quads if you do this move. I believe it's actually more effective than even squatting heavy if you're talking in terms of putting mass right on your legs. So try two to three sets of each of the squat variations and let's move on to exercise number two. You feel your butt come out the pad, stop and push up, okay? So slower eccentric and then yeah. don't come all the way up? Don't lock, don't lock out, no. Right there. Yeah. Second forgotten leg exercise. The first time I did this move with Charles, I literally thought I was going to die. You're gonna start off on the leg press machine and you guys are gonna go as heavy as you possibly can for 10 to 12 repetitions. Then immediately when you finish that set, I want you guys to put your hands above your head and you just do 15 to 20 body weight walking lunges. Now this may sound very harmless, but you do five sets of this right after you guys are doing heavy leg press in the 10 to 12 rep range. You guys are going to experience quad pain and a quad pump like you have never felt in your entire life. I kid you not, this was a lot harder than even going heavy on the high bar squat with Charles. So try this move, just go as heavy as you can on the leg press, then do some body weight lunges after for 15 to 20 reps, hands above your head, five total sets, 90 second rest time. Do that a couple times a week, you guys are gonna grow those legs. Like put it up here? Yeah. So the third exercise is the Dumbbell Bulgarian Split Squat. Now I recommend that you guys go fairly light on this. I believe I usually go 25 all the way up to 40 pound dumbbells, depending if I do this at the start or end of my leg workout. But the beauty of this move is it's an isolateral leg movement that's going to place overload on lower body muscle groups you guys probably are not working a lot, like your hip flexors, your glutes, and your hamstrings. So you're gonna elevate your back foot on a bench so it's resting comfortably. Your front foot's gonna come out, and as you go down, 
make sure that the weight placement is more on your heels than your toes. So you really wanna focus on driving up using your glutes, your quads, and your hamstrings as opposed to just coming up on your toes too much and putting all the pressure on your knees. You wanna sit back on your heels comfortably. Now I recommend you go 10 to 12 repetitions on each side and this is a very challenging move. Also, one thing to look out for is make sure you keep your chest up throughout the entire movement. So 10 to 12 reps, make sure you go down a little bit more than 90 degrees, really challenge yourself. 10 to 12 reps on each side, three total sets, 90 second rest time. Can I do a front squat? Oh, okay. Sitting. Right. Yeah, back at the same time. Sit down. Now come up. There you go. So the fourth forgotten leg exercise I know is one of Charles' favorite leg exercises of all time. If you follow him on Instagram, you'll see all of the female bodybuilding and bikini competitors always do this move. It is the reverse hack squat. Now, you're gonna set up on a hack squat machine, basically the opposite direction. And the key with this move is as you go down, think about pushing your butt back and your knees going forward. So you wanna get a nice, fluid range of motion where each rep that butt is going back your knees are going forward and you're getting as low as possible on every single rep so you're going to feel this move a little bit more in your hamstrings and your glutes you're going to get a little bit of stretch on the posterior chain and that's exactly what we want so that's the beauty of the reverse hack squat is you're really forced to push that butt back to drive the knees forward and you get a little bit more range of motion. Now, make sure that you don't dip that chest, so keep that chest up. Try to keep a sturdy upper body so you don't injure your lower back on this move. And go heavy on this move, but just keep in mind that you're gonna have to go a lot lighter than you would normally go on the regular hack squat. So I recommend you guys drop the weight by about 50% and go three to four sets, 10 to 12 rep range, no more than 90 second rest between sets. So the fifth forgotten leg exercise I actually did not learn from Charles Glass. I learned it from Tim Grover, who was Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and Dwayne Wade's trainer. I started doing this exercise frequently when quarantine first started and I was forced to sort of work out from home and I didn't have access to a lot of weights. Now, after I started doing this move, I blew up my vertical jump, I increased my squat, I increased my deadlift, and I attribute a lot of it to this exercise. Now, it is the lunge hold position. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to elevate the front foot on a weight plate, so it's gonna be about an inch elevated. You're gonna rise up on the toe of that front foot. Your back foot is gonna be rested comfortably behind you. Of course, you're gonna elevate that back foot on your toe as well. You're gonna drop down to a little bit less than 90 degrees. You're gonna keep your chest up. You're gonna squeeze your glutes throughout the movement. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this position for as long as you can and you will light up your legs doing this. You're gonna feel that burn and just that tension in the quads more on this move than you ever have in your entire life because you have to hold it for such a long period of time. So a good starting holding position I would say is 60 seconds. Try to work up to two minutes on each side. So you're gonna hold that position for two minutes, then you're gonna rep out actual lunges. So he calls it a pulse in his book Jump Attack, but you're gonna hold that lunge hold, then you're gonna pulse it for 10 to 12 additional reps. So I recommend that you do this. You can even do this at the start of your leg workout as a great warm up for your knees, but I also recommend that you can do this as a finisher for two total sets on each leg at the end of your leg workout. So if you've missed any of the videos in the Forgotten Exercise series, we got a whole playlist going down. I'm gonna throw that in the description below. Make sure you guys watch those videos. There is some gold. We've now covered just about every single muscle group in the Forgotten Exercise Series with Charles Glass, so I recommend you watch that next if you've missed any of those videos. Now, today's video is sponsored by Superhuman Protein. I personally take two to three scoops of Superhuman Protein every single day, and it's the easiest and most delicious way to get in 50 to 75 additional grams of protein every single day because if you're trying to build muscle fast, you wanna consume around 200 grams of protein every single day, and a whey protein isolate is the highest quality protein source on the planet, a 100 out of 100 on the protein quality scale. So tap the link down below and use the code BESTPROTEINEVER for 25% off your first tub of Superhuman Protein, and that also includes sample tubs. So if you've never tried Superhuman Protein, you're skeptical, I recommend you guys at least grab a sample tub. You will not find a better tasting protein. So thank you for watching today's video. If you missed any of the recent videos, I'm gonna throw it down in the description below, over here and over here, and I will see you guys on the next one. You ain't got no games. You ain't with no
Peace.